Um, well, I had no problem with money in Cyberpunk for some reason, although they might have patched it since you played. Oh, they've definitely patched it since I played. I, I played Cyberpunk on release, so I'm pretty sure that they've patched the money bug that I used, but I'm guessing they've also fixed all of the money-ish sort of stuff, so you're earning more so you can actually, you know, buy all of the stupid cars. Seriously, why? Why, when you have so many cars, can't you have them as rewards for missions? Or, like the Batmobile, the you just find in a tunnel underground in a cargo container because Batman lost his parents and has decided to become the champion that Night City needs, or whatever the backstory to that particular one was. I think it was Crabman. Maybe not Batman. I can't remember. The, the, he was some sort of animal-based superhero that drove a dark car. And the car was crap, by the way. It was just an ordinary car. It's like Batman Year One, where he just he's playing around with his normal car. It, if you're going to put the Batmobile in the game, Put the Batmobile in the game. You don't have to call it the Batmobile. You don't have to make it look like the Batmobile. But I expect something based on the Batmobile to be one of the best cars in that game. Instead, the best car was actually one that I found amongst a maze of greenhouses outside of a church. It was a weird game. Uh, ah, you missed the Berserker fight where I took free on it once. Oh, that sounds just charming. I'm hating Ragnarok on give me, my, give me God of War and I'm close to the end. Too many battles with no resetting. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I, I still need to play God of War. I've never played a God of War game. I should probably play God of War. I've got it on PS5. I've got the remaster. I've just never got around to playing it. But in fairness, it's me. So I'd immediately try and 100% it. If not complete it. Probably not complete it, actually. I've heard horror stories about the hardest difficulty. But still, you know. Um... Man, I really reopened that wound. Oh, don't worry. At least nobody's mentioned... Ne never mind. <clears throat> Who's Sakura? Let me guess. You got that ribbon in a trade with some other girl. <laughs> hey, how did you know? Isn't it just the cutest? You wanted my animal backpack, so I swapped her for the ribbon. You did make sure to take everything out of the backpack first, right? Right. So, now we're looking for an animal backpack. What's wrong, mister? You don't look so hot. It's nothing. I'm fine. I guess I have to go and look for a girl with an animal backpack now. Marvellous. How did my life lead me to this point? Is it because I wasn't nice enough to Majima? He put a curse on me. Sounds like the sort of thing he'd do. Right. 100% takes a long time to complete on the hardest difficulty. I suspected as much, but in fairness, we've spent six months playing Breath of the Wild, so, you know. Oh, uh, hello, she's wearing a blue dress. Is this finally her? An animal backpack. Is this finally Sakura? Hey, what's your name? I'm looking for a lost girl. Her name's Sakura. Uh, hey, that's my name. But I'm not lost. I'm right here. I'll be back in a second. I'm gonna go and get your mother. <gasps> Sakura, where on earth have you been? Huh? Huh? Well, you told me to wait here while you did your shopping. I did no such thing. I've been looking all over for you over this arcade, young lady. Last vacation too, Mommy. You got totally lost and Daddy said you had no sense of direction at all. He called you Zoro. What did he mean, Mommy? Huh? Oh, never mind that. Daddy said that too. Looks like the mom's the one who got lost. She really is like Zoro. Anyway, where'd you get that backpack? <laughs> I traded for it. Isn't it the cutest? It is! And it wouldn't be it wouldn't have been cheap if we'd bought the it in a retail price. <clears throat> oh, that's right. I have to thank you for finding my sapper. This isn't much, but I insist. It's the least I could do to thank you. I got three thousand yen. No, oh, I'll take it. Okay, Sakura, let's go. We don't have the and don't leave my sight again. Are you hear me? Bye bye. Bye bye, Mister. Sorry about my mom. Gordon Bennett. I might get a throat loss after that as well. 
She pulled up a lot of trades while her mother was wandering. Oh, I guess she has the smarts of her dad. And I got 3,000 XP as well. Nice. Yeah, God of War is an interesting one. Wouldn't mind playing it. I mean the remasters. No, not the remasters. The remake? The sequel? The... Look, if you're going to call I, I I really appreciate it. It's a sort of soft reboot with the new ones. But seriously, calling God of War God of War does just cause a bit of confusion. Especially when you've got a God of War trilogy, which I'm sure they're probably going for, in which case it'll be the new God of War trilogy. So, well, whatever. The new God of Wars. I've not played those. I'm sure everyone knows. Oh, Dad and Boy. There we go. God of War, Dad and Boy. Ricky Dicky 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 Fourth. And the one that came before it. Hammer. I have no idea if there's hammers involved in that game, but. Hammer. Reboot! But it, it's a sequel, because it's set after the stuff in the original trilogy. So it can't really be a reboot, unless it's a soft reboot. And I'm going to stop thinking because my head is starting to hurt while I try and wrap my brain around that. Okay, uh, we've done a thing. Now we must go in the direction of this and talk to a no, we're not. We're going to go in the direction of um, this and find a safe... Oh, oh God. Damn it. Free War's awesome, and I hated the challenge mode, which I beat on PS3. Fair enough. Huh? Oh, no. I bumped into this poorly dressed gentleman. Whatever will we do? Oh, I know. Why do you have a golf club? What the hell? He was like Bane from Batman Arkham Origins there. Did Rockstar steal that off that dude? Are you Bane? Is this where you went after Arkham City? You retired to Osaka in Japan. No, not Osaka. Okinawa, even. I get those two confused far too much. There you go. Excuse me, sir. Four. <laughs> That was awesome! <laughs> My golfing skills have paid off, boys! A cheap nine iron. Well, you're very cheap. You get smacked in the face by an angry Japanese man. Right, um... I'm sure that's how the saying goes. Now what? Oh yeah, I was going after the sub-story. Can't be many more sub-stories left for this chapter. Or maybe these are all the nighttime sub-stories and it's just I'm doing them all in one big chunk. Which is also more than likely with me. Oh. Ooh. Well, we can at least complete this while we're at it as well. Nice. Oh yeah, we need to go back to the bar and get ourselves all the whiskey. Well, more whiskey. Thanks for coming here so often. I hope Okinawa and Soba fills you with the energy you need to give it all you have all today. Take a look at me. I eat uh, refute every day. And not only am I full of energy, my skin is baby soft. <coughs> Apparently eating refute is good for your skin. I heard someone say it because it's a uh, because of the collagen or something. 
You should bring a friend with you next time you stop by. I'm sure, I'm sure it, uh, I should hope it's soon. Oh, this refute sober is packed full of collagen, huh? No, I should remember this when I, I'm over at the cabaret club. Oh. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, it's this way. Okay. That's, yeah, there we go. That makes more sense. Uh, yeah, no, that's fine. I don't need to say it because we've got, wait. That's just dawned on me. We have... Cool. Right, that's sorted. Hello! Gonna own your patrol yet, Mikio? Uh, Mikio? Oh, hey, sir. Good to see you again. Since you're here anyway, I want you to come with me. You can tell the real Ryudo men in action. Well, okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what you can do. Hey. Oh, leave it with me. And I'll show you a day in the life of an up-and-coming Ryudo man. All right. Come this way. Now I'll show you around the market. I like the fish. This is certainly proving to be an entertaining sub story. So Kiryu was really tall compared to everyone. My goodness, Miki Chan patrolling the place all by yourself today, are you? Yeah. <coughs> You know how it is. Every anything I should know about. Any problems around here? No, we're just fine. Akahara san takes good care of us. We never have to worry about a thing. Good to hear. You just let me know if there's something comes up, okay? Hey. Miko's doing pretty well. Come on, sir. Now I fought a patrol means we gotta keep moving. What's this? Oh, I found a locker key. I didn't even intend it. Okay, sure. Awesome. That's a pig. Well, oh, part of a pig. Mm. 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 Yo, Mickey Chan. We got in some of those pickles you were asking about. Oh. Huh? Seriously? Yeah, try a little before you go. Oh, okay, but uh, just a little. <laughs> oh, these are really yummy. A nice steaming bowl of rice would go perfect with them. Not right. I'm glad we managed to stock up for you. What's he thinking? Eating on duty? Come on, sir. I thought a patrol means we gotta keep moving. Chan, as long as you're here, we've got some new treats. Oh, thanks. There's nothing like a little sweetness to pick you up when you do uh, when you're dragging. Yeah, take this with you. Oh, brown sugar cake came out amazing today. Azas. Hey, thanks. Let me know if anything comes up, okay? Of course, of course. We know we can count on you. This is starting to seem more like a taste test than a patrol. Come on, sir. I fought a patrol man. We gotta keep moving.
Kitty Chan. You'll love it. That's real cute pork. Have some snacks while you can. If Naki are a here, you wouldn't get a single bite. Thanks a bunch. Keeping an eye out of things as sure as hungry work. I don't know. It looks like you've done more eating than patrol. No, oh, I'm just touching base with everyone. This kind of communication is real important here in Okinawa. Uh, huh. Hey, hey, Chan. Get some gorgeous fresh mangoes for you. Come get them, get them. Ooh, mangoes. Yes, I've got a little more patrolling to do then, huh? Seriously. And, and sir, if you wouldn't mind keeping this a secret from the boss. Nikio's too busy eating everything we pass to actually do work. I guess the Yakuza do things differently here. This would never fly in Camarocho, oh, that's for sure. <laughs> what was that? That's just I've seen him move all day. Cut it out before I make you cut it out. This is Ryuto family territory. Oh, what? You're one of them? Take some guts to admit it. Listen, this market's a real money maker, so we're gonna take it over as right now. You can run on home, Tubby. Mikio? This is Ryuto family territory. You stay the hell out. Yeah, the Ryuto family takes good care of us. Oh, sorry, that was the market trader. <laughs> I thought that was the Yakuza. I was thinking, wait, what? We don't need your kind around here. You wouldn't be doing that if Nakayara Sam was here. Get up, you senile old farts. I'll deal with you later. Wait. You're not the only ones were. You're, they're not the only ones you're after. Yeah, but neither are you. You want to have it out with us, you bring Nakayara. Get it? It is, if you've got the balls. <laughs> you? There you go. Don't take the bait. But sir, these guys! Who the hell are you? Just a passerby with a job to do. Ready, Mikio? Hey. Yeah, let's give them out. Sir. There's a lot of people here. Oh, can I use that tuner, I wonder? I can beat them up with fish. This will be interesting. Ow. Okay, I am really, really curious what what I can do with the tuna. So you know what? Bonk. 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 Now so much for the nice tuna. Hold on a minute. Oh, never mind. There we go, problem solved. And we gotta beat somebody up with a tuna! What's not to love? We won't forget this! Thanks a lot, sir. Nice job out there, Mikio. Thank goodness you shut down those hooligans. You know Nakiyahara-san, do you? This is for you. What 
do you think? Pretty spectacular, huh? It looks delicious. Almost as delicious as that poor tuna I used to beat those guys up with. Rest in peace, tuna-san. I got a giant blue parrot fish. Okay. <laughs> the orphans will feast this evening. Well, Miki-chan, you can really hold your... Oh, yeah. Well, Miki-chan, you can really hold your own. I knew we could count on you to keep us safe. Right. Well, will you watching over us, we can do business in peace. Really? Well then, it's my pleasure. All right, Mikio. I'm heading out. Don't slack up on your patrol now. They won't. Thanks again, sir. 2000 XP. Nice. Right. Are there any keys upstairs? Have I already checked up here for keys? Hmm. Seems like the place that there would be a key. Hmm. Okay, apparently not. Aim. Also, I should probably check sub stories. Real quick. Oh! Oh wait, there's a... Oh, no, hold on. Another question mark. <laughs> Keep forgetting that's not the map. Yeah, there's a sub story down... No, no, don't do it, Ezio. Don't fall for it. Go and save the game first. Is there a save point? Um, oh, there are only two save points in. The, oh, God damn it! Right, fine. Uh, unless a key is a light, I don't remember a key at that point. No, it's probably that's fine. It, it seems like the place there would have been a couple of keys, but oh, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, we need to go to the pawn shop. Oh, no, we need to... No, save point, because I need to go and put a bunch of stuff into my item box, don't I? Oh, and we can go to the weapons place as well and mod uh, do so. Oh, wait. I can only... Wait. Does... I wonder, is the game smart enough to take the stuff from my item box when I'm modding a weapon or is it going to be one of those things where I have to keep going back and forth to load my inventory up with what I need because if that's the case that's going to be really lame oh, I could have kept that actually I'll keep that going to save the game as well, wasn't it? I can go and sell some of those things in the item in the pawn shop, so awesome. Alright. Oh, just checking. Okay, cool. Oh no. Oops, I've accidentally walked into the ice cream palace. Yes, 
Hello. Uh, I wish to have that. Oh, I can only have one. Oh, damn it. I hate the fact that I can only just order one thing at a time. He's in here. Marvelous. What's up? Did you hear what Takashi did? I guess she couldn't and hasn't been coming to school lately. They say the devil cat got him. Huh? You mean the one that creeps up from behind and haunts you till you're dead? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They say that if it ends up following you, a horrible tragedy is about to happen. Well... Hashikun is in the hospital, but he got caught up in a fight or something. You think the devil cat's fault is that? Has to be. I'm telling you this cat is nothing but bad luck. That's terrible. The devil cat hears you. It'll come after you next. That's really bad, because I love felines. But the way, by the way they don't... Wait, what? By the way, don't a lot of cats gather in front of Aqua Sky behind the station? Oh yeah, the owner's always putting catnip out, so lots end up over there. <laughs> Maybe the devil cat's there too, rubbing tails with the other cats. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, I get the feeling this is another mystery. A devil cat that brings bad luck. That's absurd. Almost as absurd as a giant black bird that fought in an underground coliseum back in the 8th. Oh, wait a minute. Or a man taking on a couple of tigers by himself. Oh, wait a minute. Well, there was also those... I also... Well, there was those magic tigers that lit people on fire or froze them to death. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Nanny? Nanny? I'm not glaring at anyone. Hip-hop contest! Are those sunglasses ringing for? Because they seem to be taking quite a wallet. Oh, look, more of them. Boom. There we go. Not dead, by the way. You need to buy books for more mod options, and it takes from the item box. Awesome. Where do I buy the books? Convenience store, I'm kind of guessing, but I said. Did you just see me beat the other dudes up? What are you doing, boy? Oh, I find. Oh, he literally put us... Never mind. Uh, the VCR place in Camarocho, but I think the van guy sells a few. Awesome. Uh, gonna run and get some lunch, mate. Have a good rest of the stream. Aye, cheers for stopping by, Spud. And thank you very much for the raid again, mate. You have a good one. I got money. Nice. Oh, yeah, I was going to save the game. Oh, I've got plenty of help. And I found another sub story.
That beautiful woman. She has to work here. No doubt about it. But that means she works at a at a burger restaurant. Um Kid, that's a hostess club. Also, what are you doing? Sorry, I just, um... Something wrong? Hey, you're the guy from the burger joint. What burger jo Oh. Oh, you're the kid from back there. What the hell happened to your voice? Did you hit puberty or something? Talk about a makeover. You look completely different. Sound completely different as well. Where did your date go? We went out once. But she never picked up the phone again after that. She wouldn't even reply to my texts. Wait, so she dumped me? Well, that explains the voice then. No, oh, she couldn't have. There's gotta be another reason why she hasn't responded to me. Maybe her dad got in the car accident or something. Fine, fine. This sucks. I really liked it too. Um. What are you doing now? It's like you shouldn't be hanging around places like this. No, but... I just saw this incredibly beautiful woman go into that club. I wanted to see if I could talk to her. Oh, come on, kid. Don't tell me you're falling for a bona fide hostess now. She looked so gorgeous. Just like a movie star. There's something about her that the girls in my class just don't have. Mature feminine charm, that's gotta be it. Yes, also the skill to con you out of all of your money. That's why I changed down my outfit, changed my voice, sound like her. Look a bit more grown up, be a real man worthy of a real woman like her. What do you think? I've got this ghetto game from the store over there. Is that how it is? Well, I mean, you don't look too bad. Told her. So maybe, maybe she can teach me all sorts of things about romance. All sorts of things. <clears throat> I mean, or maybe just even about adult stuff. All sorts of things. <laughs> oh, Gordon Bennett. Doesn't matter. In any case, you shouldn't block the entrance to the club. You'll only cause trouble. I guess you get a point. I won't want to make trouble for the beautiful woman. I'll, I'll wait on the other side. Good grief. Not what we got ourselves into. Uh, that's where he went. How long are you going to wait out here? Wonder when this club closes. Hopefully she's free after work. You know when it closes? No idea. Yeah, I don't keep track of that stuff. If I were old enough, I could go visit her in the club. You're so lucky to get to go in. Hey, look, that's her. That's the gorgeous woman I saw earlier. Uh, well, not wrong. She is very pretty. This time, this time I'll talk to her on my own. Excuse me? Uh, oh, no. Uh, are you talking to me, hun? Um, well, I... Do you know... Do you know this boy? Is he yours? Uh, no, he's not. He, he wants to talk to you, then. Uh, I saw you on the streets earlier, and I just... You saw me, and... What do you want from me, honey? What? Uh, what do I want? I am... Um... Uh, I want to eat ice cream with you. Maybe see a movie? Oh, that's nice, but... Sorry, sweetie. I'm a grown woman. I need a little bit more than that in my love life. As much as I appreciate the thought, I'm much more interested in a date with this handsome man right here. 